How do you, how do I pronounce your name so I say it correctly? You can call me just Mark. It, Mark, it's okay. Easier just like making that. sure. Yeah. Well, uh, good morning. It's Saturday morning here. Yeah, me, it's a 1.30 in p.m. in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. I'm on the other side of the country, basically in Atlantic Canada. Where, where are you? Uh, New Brunswick. It's uh, Atlantic Canada. Oh, wow. I think you're... Yeah, I don't meet that many folks from Canada here. Um, oh, I think it's lagging there. Uh, yeah, we're getting a little bit of a rough connection. Um, well, dude, so sorry. Dude, so sorry. Yeah, no no problem. It's uh, it's freezing a little bit. Uh... All right. I'm literally running this off my phone now. Oh, okay, really? <laughs> Dude. No, it seems to work there. Uh, you're not freezing. <laughs> yeah, I swear. Yeah. yeah. The uh, I live in Maui, Hawaii, which is wonderful. But it is not civilization. It is like, it is an island in the middle of the, of the uh, Pacific. And it is tough. And the internet is like, just decides to not work sometimes. It's so right. infuriating. <laughs> um, all right. My apologies. Uh, dude, how no, do I, no, how it's do we all good. We can try, and if ever there's... Uh, uh, well, we don't. We don't. I saw your invitation on uh, the the Better Life Tribe there. Uh, what I share. Uh, so I just said, well, yeah. I'll take that invitation. And uh, uh, I, I think it's nice from yourself to, to offer that. I have been doing this for years, and I love meeting people this way. It's always... I don't know. I just never know what I'm going to get, and I love that, you know? For sure, right? Yeah. So, oh, no, well, I think who it's, are you? Uh, How can I help? lagging again? Yeah. yeah can you I don't hear know, me dude. Well, this uh... thing sucks. <laughs> yeah, I seem to be able to hear you. <laughs> okay, well, well, no, uh, really, I, I don't have uh, nothing really specific for you today. Uh, I just took the opportunity. Uh, I'm curious to know more about you, uh, really uh to know your story if you don't mind basically i know you uh from the podcast that's the first time i heard about you and i know you uh you're you invest in real estate you're successful in that in photography and videography and i'm curious to know uh your story like um i I was about to say like brandon turner would say who was the alex before (laughs) before all of that that's interesting. Yeah, um, I was a sort of an arrogant punk from Rhode Island. Uh, people in Rhode Island, uh, you probably, I don't know, I don't know how much you know living in Canada, but like, um, people in the Northeast are mouthy. We all got an attitude problem. Um, and we all got a little bit of a chip on our shoulders. So I take that, that little bad attitude. Um, I'm also, biologically that way like um i'm a i'm a a bit of an antagonist and i grew up in an antagonistic household and then i promptly in 2001 after september 11th i promptly took all that attitude and i went to the army where you know they gave me a little bit of force behind the attitude which okay you know it's all fun and games but what happens is um (laughs) oh i ended up being um i ended up at 30 with a bad attitude and broke and so Somewhere on there, like, I just, I decided, well, I, life kicked my ass because you don't get paid, you don't, you don't make money, you don't get success just because you think you deserve it. That's never happened. So, yeah, mm-hmm. I just, I, I, I got my ass kicked in life and then I said, hey, I got to take radical responsibility yeah, I and I, I've done a good, pretty good, that, that took a pretty good job of that. So, that's when I started learning finance, that's when I started learning um, personal finance, real estate, investing. I started reading books like a fiend. I'm a bookaholic. I started uh, pretty soon after I picked up my camera because I knew I needed to have a productive, creative outlet. Um, I started writing. I started podcasting. Like I just started, I started going to events and conferences, and I just started like, I'm a super good trier, you know, uh, super good trier. So that's all this is, dude. This is Wait, just I'll me. Out. I'm not a, let's try. Yeah, I'm not I'll a success this- like Brandon by any means. I have my portfolio. I have my investors. I'm, um, 
I'm good at a camera. I'm not world class and just trying to find my way. And it's going to take longer because I spent, you know, basically my entire 20s um, drunk and on drugs. So I had to like, I lost a decade, you know? Yeah. yeah. And that's just, it is what it is. You yeah. know, so now I'm just, well, I'm sure, I figure uh, now there's I'm like, still some experience from that decade, from that decade, right? You know what I get from that, that I, that other people don't get because I didn't get any, I didn't read any book. You know, I wasn't like compounding positive, um, uh, experience. The thing that I got from that more than I think, uh, that like that acts as an advantage is I deeply understand why people make short-sighted decisions. And so I see it, even though people are like, well, I'm not an alcoholic or I'm not, I'm not into drugs. And I'm like, no, but you rationalize your bad decisions the same way that, you know, I did. And those people do. So I understand that side of humanity because I experienced it. And that gives me a slight advantage, but the reality is, uh, and it makes, I, I get a lot of empathy for that. When I see somebody who's an addict or, you know, lies to themselves or like picks the wrong friends, like I empathize with those people more. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, pr I'm happy for all those things, but the reality is for the most part, yeah. it's not an advantage to spend a decade doing drugs and alcohol. That's a disadvantage. <laughs> I try to make the most of it, but it's not like it was, it didn't bring me that much <laughs> benefit. No, if it, if uh, it would have been one year, maybe <laughs> instead of 10, yeah. 10. uh, yeah, but life, life is, um, yeah, you know, I am not a. Life is an adventure, you know, it's not, um, it's not like a video game where you, you have to do a certain thing to be oh, yeah. successful. It's, 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 it's an adventure of exploration and self exploration. And so I don't look back on it with regret. I'm like, yeah, that's what I did. Yep. Yeah. Well, uh, and I feel you there. We, uh, I think we kind of have the same uh, vibe, I would say, uh, if you go further up north in the east of Canada, then you had uh, in, uh, where you grew up there. So I completely understand you. Uh, I had some, you know, some experience <laughs> as well. Uh, oh, turned out fine. Uh, now I'm, uh, I'm good with my little family. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, completely understand you, man. Uh, yeah and right yeah. now what uh what would you say that you're uh, you're looking for the most or what what do you need the most right now um right now with where you at uh, with your I'm career gonna, well, i'm gonna move to we're gonna move to austin so i I'm want everybody to, to know i'm moving to austin so that i can meet okay. everybody in austin um i, want I really want to know i don't know what this is this this um real estate strangers thing, but I've been doing wanna, it for like five years and now I've, I finally started taking it seriously in a, in a new way before it was just like, Oh, I've been doing it for like five fun. Years. Now I'm like, I don't know. I feel really motivated by it. Yeah. So those are the things I'm looking for. Austin, um, okay. you know, call nice. like, internet calls with strangers and, and, uh, investors and participants in the, in the, in the New Jersey area. That's great. <laughs> On uh, what's it on my side? So if uh, just a little bit of my story there, I, I'm just uh, I'm pretty new to air to investing. So I bought uh, one duplex. I did a burr on it. Uh, learned a lot <laughs> with that. Uh, after that, uh, me and my wife were expecting a baby, so we felt we wanted to have a a single family residence. So uh, when I refinanced it, I bought a single family house just to have our space. It was really important for us. Uh, and now, so I have the, the five month old daughter. Uh, and so right now it's like, okay, I, I had that duplex. I used that capital on this single family residence. Uh, now I want to move forward and do another purchase, but I know that I will need to, uh, my money's, I don't have the capital right now to make like another multifamily purchase. So I'll try to focus really on, on partnership or trying to see if there is some seller financing option. Uh, if I want to move quicker than just saving up next two years and then purchase another one, right? Um, so that's that's where I am. I feel a little stuck, and it's, it's not fun because I know I 
could get some good deals, uh, but I didn't uh, did a good job at networking. <laughs> um, so yeah, that that's my focus. And in my town, it's a small community. Uh, like where I live, it, we're only like two thousand people. Uh, but oh. there's a city closer that's where i would buy properties yeah so like investors cool. out there they don't want to help the new upcoming there it's just competition so <laughs> so i need to find wow. other uh, other people or a seller financing option yeah well um or look elsewhere i guess i guess that could be an option too yeah i don't know your market like every market's hard right now for the most part. I mean, some are better than others for sure, but like, there's nowhere that like nobody's found yet. There's no market that nobody's touched yet. Um, as for networking, I mean, dude, right. Yeah. I, you know, what's funny is I got a, I have a bunch of stuff written out. I got to publish a little ebook about like how to, how to just meet a million people. I'm so good at it, but I feel like actually I gotta write this down. I feel like every problem, <laughs> every problem that you have, is somebody else's super, you know, every problem that you have is somebody else's superpower. So you're like, well, I need, yeah, that's good. I need deals in this area. I'm like, I bet you there's somebody that does wholesaling in mass scale in your town or, or could turn on your zip codes, you know, and like that way you don't have to learn wholesaling. There's like, oh, I could partner yeah, it's with a wholesaler. Too small right now for that, but there is maybe, yeah, the, the thing is, there is a city there. It's just two hours from where I live. Uh, it's uh, it's called Moncton. It's the uh, it's currently the fastest growing city in Canada. Uh, and I lived there for four years, cool. so I'm looking at into going there. <laughs> dude, dude, let me tell you something. Population growth is economic growth. They are the same thing. Because who spends money? Yes. People. people. So, <laughs> people. I tell people, yeah. I, I, say, I, I use this example all the time. I don't have my camera on me, but usually I'll I shake my all, camera. I, 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 I'll I, shake I, the shit out of it and go, no money falls out of this thing when I shake it. If the camera is not making money. It's the people. All that. Right? Camera. So not... if you have people going somewhere, yeah. they're yeah. going to spend money. So the more people yes. you have that go somewhere, it's like the same reason why in cities, right? We're seeing in the U.S. like people moving to Texas and now Texas is becoming un unaffordable. It's like because people want to live there and they're willing to spend more to live, you know, close. It's like, dude, so if you have a place that's two hours away, it's a city you know, it's somewhat close to you, and it's the fastest growing city in, would you say, in, in your in your area or in, is it in, in your district or something? Like in Canada, in, in the Canada. old country. Bro, find a wholesaler. Yeah, have them turn that either either find a wholesaler that's already doing in that area or find a wholesaler you, you can make friends with that can be like, hey, I'll turn that zip code on. And then, you know, and then you just have to find a buyer so they can scoop up all the deals and you can partner with them and be like, I'll help you find deals. We'll split them 50 50, whatever the Nate, whatever the case is. But like. Mark, it sounds like. It sounds like you're a few connections away from. Are you okay with partners? Are you like, are you against partners? Yeah, that, that make a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just missed the last part. You said you're just a few connection away and the connection. Uh, oh yeah. Like, like are uh, you, uh, are you okay with partnerships? Are you, are you okay with partnerships? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, um, for sure. I, yes, yes. Yeah. Sorry. Th this connection is a little laggy. Um, yeah. So dude, you're a few, you're a few people away from meeting where you're just like somebody wants to buy in that area and needs boots on the ground and you might be perfect to just go check out deals they pick up deals and you guys have some kind of partnership agreement yeah no that's a really good uh, good point good idea and i'm sure like so the thing what happened in canada is like <clears throat> so the the big centers so let's say ontario uh so you have big city over there and in quebec it's uh that market went completely crazy as well but price are are so high right now, and it, it's investors are moving down to our region uh, 
And I want to get into that wave before we just see the same thing that happened in, in the big cities of, of Canada. So I feel like there's tremendous opportunity down here and I want to be part of it. <laughs> and I will be. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, that sounds good, dude. That sounds, I like that. That sounds, that sounds doable. It's just how many, how many emails can you write and find the people who are doing wholesaling in that area as fast as possible and then find out, can I be useful in some way and just start collecting either properties or pieces of equity. And it's like, dude, you're just, you're a few connections away. Yeah. No, make, makes sense. Uh, it makes more sense doing that than ever looking at my small market of uh, a few thousand people uh yeah. even though like we have great like the the rents there versus uh, price it's all good but it's for sure appreciation won't be the same as moncton that 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 city that is going crazy <laughs> all the real money in real estate is in appreciation cash flow is cash flow is how you like stay in the game and maybe if you buy it deep enough maybe you get a little extra cash flow and you can live mm -hmm. on it but for the most part the money in real estate is made in the appreciation it's a wealth builder yes yeah yeah no that, that makes a lot of sense yeah dave i heard uh, david green you, you know him for sure there he, he, he's uh, he's strong about that that, that factor is about going for for uh the appreciation but you know you don't make stupid decision and buying something you you lose your your money uh, every month there but uh, if you need to think about long term yeah yeah so i did that i bought a bunch of houses that cash flowed well now i bought them all super discounted because it was like 2015 and 16 um so they all cash flow well now but i mean even still dude even if you got a bunch of places yeah. even if you got 10 houses that cash flow 300 bucks a month I mean, that sounds good, but that's $3,000. I mean, $3,000 is life-changing money in some ways, but it's not an abundance. You can't get rich off of $3,000 $3, a month. And then if the properties don't appreciate, I'm like, that's all you ever get is that $3,000 a month until they're paid off. Yeah. So, but if you had a property that you're like, hey, I, I don't really make anything or I make $100 a month, right? So now you're like, oh, I make $1,000 a month on 10 properties, but they go up in value. I'm like, but in 10 years, that could be, a million, million and a half bucks. Well, now you got a whole different game, right? You got a whole, you can borrow against that. You can do different stuff. So appreciation, it, even though you can't, when they say you can't eat equity, um, it does afford, it does afford interesting benefits because, you know, you can borrow against that equity to buy something else and all sorts of other stuff. Yeah. The more you yeah. get some, it, it's, uh, to scale, it's uh, I'm sure it's a lot uh, it's a lot easier if, if you if you don't have any equity and a bunch of building uh, just uh, the process of, of buying more with banks and all that I'm sure it's uh, it's a lot complicated uh, it's more tough I mean yeah yeah well, that's a good point good point also um I love that also if you buy that in Moncton and there's people moving there yeah you'll get the appreciation but also the rents will go up. So you might get that cash flow anyway. Yeah, exactly. Because I know, so there is some some big boys right now that uh, they are building a lot. So I'm uh, curious to see, but I think they are so behind in terms of inventory that it, it won't, like it won't make the, the rents go, go down. It's new building and rents are like, yeah. It's, Eyes are, are already there for sure, but uh, I think there's place for, for everyone and a smaller investor like me. Yeah. Dude, go move on it. If that's the opportunity, you seem very convinced. You're like, that's the opportunity. I'm like, don't be shy. Don't be, you know what I mean? Like, go, ri yep. go right towards the big opportunity. It's like, you'll get your piece. Even if you don't get all of it, you get the, the like, economics is so much a tailwind. It's like, you don't have to be the best you'd have to get your little piece of the uh of the wave yeah no you're right yeah i think i'll start sending uh, messaging and doing research right after this call <laughs> yeah i love it dude get some motivation that's what i that's what i love yeah yeah i don't know that sounds easy to me do you know anybody do you have any like do you have a 
Do they do meetup.com out where you live? No, no, but uh, I know there is a, there is a real estate group there, over there. Uh, I knew, uh, I know some people that live, live there because like it's the uh, university is the only French university in the province. It's over there. Okay. So like we all go there. <laughs> But a lot of people stay there after university, right? So I know some people. I could start with with some that I think that maybe could uh, make the connection to to other people that that are wholesaling or doing th those kinds of stuff. Dude, it, this is like this is a Rolodex problem. This is like you can you, you know what I mean. This is just calling people and finding the right people. I don't know. That's how I look at everything. So yeah. that's my bias. But like, yeah. If you just go find somebody, somebody's already doing what you want to do. You're just like, hey, how can I be useful? I'll drive up there twice. I'll drive up mm -hmm. there once a week and help you, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I love that. How's the tribe been for you? Really good. So it's my first month. Uh, so I, uh, I'm just starting there. I had, so I signed up, uh, it's been almost a month, but I was preparing for a big uh, exam there for uh, to get my um, commercial real estate appraiser. So I was studying a lot in that. I just finished my uh, my designation like this Thursday. Uh, so that that's a that's something I'm really happy about. And uh, so for the tribe, I I like that. I I looked at all the uh, the financial freedom calls. Uh, There's so so many good stuff that comes out from from those uh and i joined the pod which is great i didn't even knew that was a thing before uh joining so uh we are just doing like so next tuesday is gonna be the first meeting with all the group there we are eight so looking forward to that we did have a call uh, with the uh, pod leader there but it was just me and him uh but uh with the opening, I think uh, a lot apply, and so now we are a full group. Yeah, dude, pods change lives. I I believe pods change lives. Go to your pod meetings. They it it'll be a game changer. Yeah, I believe that. I believe that it's. Uh, I'm sure you can make the difference because there's so many time in my life that I did like, okay, I'm gonna do that specific thing, and three months later, it's like, okay, I didn't even started why life get busy and but with accountability there you can't miss it it's on you if you don't do it so <laughs> yeah yeah a good pod will kick your ass they're great i'm glad that that's gonna that's gonna be good for you it's good for yeah. everybody yeah um no, so you... uh no excited about the tribe yeah i know i know it's time to stop so uh yeah, also this connection is terrible. So I apologize for that. Internet on the island is I'm beholden to it. Uh, but uh dude, really good to meet you. Um uh, we'll stay in touch for sure. Yeah, no, thank you very much. Uh it was really nice uh talking to you. And uh yeah, I hope we talk again and uh, with a better connection, but that was all good. I could hear you, so it's all good. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah. It happens to me all the time. Um, okay, I'm going to stop the mm -hmm. recording and then I just need you to hang tight on the uh, call for a minute, okay? Sure.